It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 3rd of February. I'm James Spann. The sky will stay sunny across the state today, but some rain comes back in here tomorrow night and maybe some rain at times over the weekend. Very active, interesting pattern here for a while. Let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper look forecast. Pretty simple today. Big long wave trough just off the east coast. A northwest flow aloft and a very dry air mass and a cold start 25 early this morning for Pelt City and Cullman, Birmingham at 27, Tuscaloosa 32, Clanton and Auburn at 29, but we're expecting highs today around 50, moving in the right direction after a very cold uh, day Monday. There's the watch warning map, winter weather problems again up north. That's a blizzard warning I see for parts of Iowa, including Des Moines, winter storm watches up into parts of Illinois, the upper peninsula of Michigan, Wisconsin. Some scattered winter weather issues out west. There could be some thunder today out in the mountainous west for parts of Utah and Colorado. No severe weather expected. And tomorrow, no thunderstorms across the country. This is the rain for the next seven days. The east is relatively wet. For Alabama, the heavier totals in the southeastern corner. Dothan, an inch and a half. Most locations rain totals between one half and one inch between now and Wednesday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06C run, 3 o'clock today. Northwest flow aloft and a bright sunny day. High today should be around 50. Tomorrow the sky becoming mostly cloudy. Should be pretty mild. We could see some mid-60s. It'll be the warmest day of the week. Got that new system north and west of the state, and that will be bringing rain in here tomorrow night. This is tomorrow night at midnight. No severe weather, probably no thunder. Rain amounts under a half inch. Friday, the rain is on out of here. The rain ending very early in the day. The sky becoming partly to mostly sunny and a bit cooler, but really nothing too cold. High should be in the low to mid 50s. This is Saturday as the weekend begins. Dry for most of the state. Maybe some patchy light rain near the Gulf Coast. Uh, the high Saturday, again, I'd say mid 50s. This is Saturday night. Here comes our next wave, and that brings a chance of some light rain in here. Moisture very limited, so rain amounts could be quite light. And again, we'll be watching up there in the far northern part of the state, up in the Tennessee Valley. That's a close call for some wintry precipitation for the Shoals, Athens, Huntsville, Scottsboro. But for most of the state, just some light rain. And then by Sunday, that feature is long gone. And again, the models have really changed their tune uh, suggesting on Sunday we will have no cold air. High should be in the 50s. Again, pretty close to seasonal averages and the sky becoming at least partly sunny during the day Sunday. This is Monday. Again, evidence of snow north of the state, parts of Kentucky, southern Missouri. But if this is right, Monday would be a dry day. We start the day only in the 30s. Keep in mind, a few days ago we were expecting teens. But lows in the 30s, highs would be in the 50s. This is Tuesday, and again, next week's going to be the, the northern part of the state up there near the Tennessee state line flirting with some wintry precipitation. Uh, this would be a mostly cloudy day, uh, a bit colder, highs in the 40s. We'll leave it dry for now. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 10th, the deep vortex just uh, north of the U.S.-Canadian border. And again, evidence of some uh, wintry weather problems just north of here, Tennessee, Kentucky, Maybe some light rain down in southeast Alabama. This would be a cloudy day, highs in the 40s. And again, we'll be watching for model trends. We, we do not have high confidence in what happens around here for much of next week at this point. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 12th. Deep upper low north and east of the state. That looks cold and dry. And more snow for New York if this works out in Boston. So snow fans, this is the snow output for Birmingham off the European Ensemble and uh, more than half the members are showing some light snow at some point. Uh, really, they start that uh, for the most part toward the middle or end of next week. But again, nothing especially heavy on most of the members. And many members show nothing. So we'll just watch for trends here. This is rain for Birmingham off the same model, the mean about an inch and a half. And temperatures, you see 50s through Tuesday of next week. Then highs dropping back in the 40s by Thursday and Friday. But again, I stress the weather forecast for next week is a low confidence one at this point. Here's the CPC outlook. This is for the 10th through the 16th of February, showing much of the country with below average temperatures, including Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.